hello friends we will look at few important questions uh, re related to this motional emf translational cases only in this video will be discussing translational cases only so let's start with the first question find emf induced and a higher potential point in each case this is a semicircle of radius r so the effective length i should use different color pen so the effective length will be this just join the ends of the conductor and v cross b this is v b is inward so v cross b will be towards this okay v cross b is coming to upward so this will be positive or high potential and this will be negative or low potential point and what about emf emf is nothing but effective length which is uh, 2r b into v into l okay v is u in this case so b b l that is 2r they are mutually perpendicular to each other so we have taken their values what about this again the effective length will be this joining the endpoints so this is nothing but 2l sine of theta by 2 okay we can calculate it mathematically also this is a right angle triangle theta by 2 is the angle this length will be l sine theta by 2 and double that will be 2 l sine theta by 2 velocity is this and magnetic field is out of the plane of paper so doing v cross b again v cross b will come out to be in this direction hence this will be positive and this will be negative so v p minus v q in this case will be positive b v and effective length which is 2 l sine of theta by 2 as they are mutually perpendicular all are mutually perpendicular what about this length is this this is x axis this is y axis and velocity is like this magnetic field is v naught k cap so we can say <coughs> as length is perpendicular to vy oh sorry length is parallel to vy vy will not be able to produce any emf so again the term was bvl should be the mutually perpendicular component so vy will not be able to produce any emf we are left with l along y axis velocity along x axis magnetic field along z axis so the emf induced will be again b not v x only and l what about the direction again v cross b this is v and magnetic field is out of the plane so doing v cross b this lower terminal comes out to be positive and upper is negative in the next question there are three points and uh, uh, wire is bent like this this is 4 meter this is 5 meter this is 37 the angle is very good we can find the this length this length is nothing but 3 meter and makes an angle 90 with this velocity is v naught i magnetic field is v naught k what about v1 minus v2 okay we can separate it this is length of 4 meter velocity is this v naught and magnetic field is out of the plane of paper so obviously v cross b will be up v cross b so this is a positive terminal and this is a negative terminal v1 minus v2 lower minus higher will be negative and b velocity is v and length is 4 meter okay what about v1 minus v3 as velocity is parallel to the effective length net emf induced will be zero net emf induced will be zero because the length between one and three the effective length is parallel to the velocity which is v naught i so there will be no emf induced in the next question we have to find the force and power required to keep the rod moving with a constant velocity there is a rod of length l mass m which are moving on a frictionless smooth rails having total resistance r so 
magnetic field is into the plane of paper and EMF induced in this loop or in this rod will be nothing but BVL. So the current flowing I is nothing but PF EMF induced by resistance R and obviously using V cross B, V cross B into the plane. So this terminal will be positive and this will be negative. This will act like a battery of this type of polarity. Okay. So the current will flow like this and in this rod current will be moving in upper direction and magnetic field is here so the magnetic force L cross B will be this this is magnetic force magnetic so to keep it moving we have to apply equal and opposite force this is the external force which should be equal to magnetic force which is F magnetic is equal to I L B so using I as this F magnetic which is again equal to F external will be B square L square V by R. What about power? External power is F into V. So that will be B square. This is square here. B square L square V square by R. If you try to plot F external versus V. So obviously it will be a straight line. But if you try to plot power versus V. Okay. So the function will be a parabola. Power versus V is a parabolic function. Okay. This is a parabola. Moving on the next question. The last one of this video. Find the terminal velocity with which loop will fall out. The loop will fall out. Mass, resistance of the loop, length of this side. This is already out of the magnetic field region, magnetic field value and uh, acceleration due to gravity. So as the loop is coming out, there will be EMF induced and the current will be EMF induced by R. EMF induced is nothing but B, uh, yeah, terminal velocity. Okay, uh, let's discuss this term terminal velocity. What do you mean by it? Terminal velocity is the velocity uh, which will which it will attain after some time, and after attaining terminal velocity, it will continue to move with uh, that constant velocity. Okay, so let the terminal velocity be Vt. So the induced EMF at that moment will be B V T into L divided by the resistance will be the current flowing through it and the magnetic force magnetic force will be I L B so I square I L B putting the value of I magnetic force will come out to be nothing but I oh sorry B square L square Vt by R. So this force must be balanced by the weight of the wire or frame. This is the weight of the frame. Only then Vt will be achieved. So Vt is nothing but mg into R by B square L square. Okay, this is the terminal velocity with which it will fall. When it has attained terminal velocity, there will be two forces magnetic force will be acting upward and force of gravity will be acting downward and they will cancel each other then the acceleration will be zero and velocity which is terminal velocity will be constant okay enjoy